Can you solve today's SATS question? So today's SATS question is a long division. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a strategy that I like to use, which is called partial tables. Now partial tables is all about creating part of the table. A lot of you will be in the habit of writing out the whole times table, which can be quite time consuming. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down one lot, two lot, four lot. When I say lots, I mean times, okay, the multiples, times 10, times five. And it might be that we can't work out times five, and that's totally fine. So one lot is going to be 73. We're going to double 73 to get 146. So we know that's two times 73. We're going to double that again. So a double 100 is 200, double 40 is 80, and double six is 12. So that's going to leave us with 292. 10 times 73 is going to be 730. And let's just say that we can't work out five times because it's maybe an odd number. So we just think, right, I don't know what that is. It's fine, we can still solve the problem. Now, essentially what we're looking to do is we're looking to subtract these big chunks away from this. But we've done this with the, the smallest chunks or the, the most sensible chunks we can think of. The other thing to be aware of is that if we're we can multiply these by 10 to take away bigger chunks. So if I know that four lots is 292, I know that 40 lots is 2920. It's just 10 times bigger. And that's gonna help me straight away solve this problem because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna subtract 2920 using four lots as a guide, and that is 40 lots. So I'm gonna take that away very simply. So six take away zero is six. Six take away two is four. Zero take away nine, we can't do that, so we're going to need to exchange. So 10 take away nine is one, and two take, so it leaves us with 146. Magically, we can see that 146 is there, which is two lots, 146. I know that that is zero, and that was two lots. And then all I do is I add together 40 and two, and that is my answer, 42. So I need to make sure that I write that in the answer box. 42 is going to go in here. And that is another SATS question solved. And if you want to see more of this strategy, check out my main YouTube channel where I cover this strategy in a lot of detail.